Hola, amigos. <laughs> Ask me out. Ah! Uh, I got a random day off because uh, someone called in sick. And then super randomly yesterday, I got a call for an audition. So it all worked out super well. But I got a call an audition for tomorrow. So I got a half day that I'm going to have to rock. I'm going to have to figure that out with my team and get them being self-reliant and stuff. Um, I made hummus. I fucking... I re -update, I updated my Instagram. Sorry, fixing my chair. <coughs> I changed the name to something closer to Small Way, like Small Way Allen, just so Small Way Inc. is in your head. Uh, I'm trying to integrate all of our uh, social media, and I'm actually I actually have a drive to do it right now to uh, use social media because I'm like it's just getting it out there. It's just branding. It's just like yeah, and I just I I've resented that because it's like. But I just want people to look at my stuff when I'm being creative. And it's like, that's, uh, I can beat that. Especially with like an honest thing about being, the achievement of being a YouTuber. Because if I become an actor, that's all done for me. And I can focus on acting. But if I want to be a YouTuber, a lot of that isn't straight-based creativity. There is kind of its own, it's its own new art form. And it's almost like running your own little business. Because all the stuff you do, especially if you're just doing random talents you happen to have or just stuff with your wife like I'm doing. Um, can't really say that. It's like, oh, I put so much hard work. People should just look at this. No, it's not necessarily true. you got to be part of the game to a point. So I'm going to try and go hard at social media. I really like the Wells video. I like that he's shirtless the whole time. Sends a strong image of being okay with your body. That's good. I think it's funny that while he was shirtless, he told my wife to get more good fats inside of her. That seemed overtly sexual to Al. <laughs> I'm glad my other vlog came across well because I did the first one and I, I liked what I said in it, but then I realized I had done a different opinion and I was like, oh no, am I just not getting points across? But the fact that that worked is good. Um, yeah, Daggians. Uh, I'm going to try and follow you guys on Instagram and Twitter and everything just because we don't see each other enough. I uh, see each other every day, all the time. I'm just kidding. I'm going to do it to further my own ends than yours. I don't know why I'm doing this voice today. I think I'm, I think I'm like excited. I like being at home. I like being able to do my own thing. Doing things that I want to do is really nice. Really nice. Um, got another audition tomorrow too. I'm not going to say what it's for, but I can tell you guys later. You all know the product very cool it's very cool if i get that commercial so here's hoping here's hoping um <coughs> uh, i'm gonna go shopping I'm gonna make some lasagna I, I think that's gonna be something i'm gonna do today i don't know if i'm gonna do stand-up because with my audition tomorrow i really want to be centered and well here tonight i want to do some work i'm gonna I think I'm going to do some stuff to put on Instagram, Twitter, like painting. Maybe I'll do a quick video of my painting. Put it on YouTube or something, you know. Something creative that's still going out there. So I don't... Replacing that thing that I would have done to kind of further my ambitions with different. So I'm not just staying at home doing nothing. Maybe I'll stream again. Who knows? Who knows? I don't... I don't know. I don't know why I'm... Wow, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. I'm just jazzed. I'm just jazzed to be home. Just jazz to be home. Fuck, I hate. I just, I, I just need to be a stay-at-home husband. One day, one day I'll be a stay-at-home husband. I'll be so fucking happy. I'll be, I'll be cheery as fuck. And like, people are like, oh, you let you stay at home? And they're like, no, you come over to my house. My house is gonna be clean. I'm gonna have like, like so many tasty treats that I've made. Shit's gonna be off the hizzuk when we have kids. I'm gonna probably need some help because they're a handful. But I'm still gonna like. Like, strive to be the best stay-at-home husbando I can be. While trying to, like, do other stuff, obviously. But still. I have ambitions. They're just to, you know, live in a nice place where I make things nice for the people I love. That's what I want. I keep thinking about trying to, uh... I think to myself for several hours about the problems of the world. I think people box themselves in too much. And I want to use, which I found out now and have developed this part of myself further, 
uh, and learning about Socrates and the Socratic method, which is really just his attitude was like, I am not wise. I know very little. That's why I ask so many questions. And the only man I would be wiser than is someone who thinks he knows something. And that's the thing. I'm trying to take that. I'm trying to take that like all these things that we take for sureties that we can't prove don't. And then don't like... And then, like, there's nothing wrong with getting your own thing. If you have a certain belief or idea about how the world works, that's great. Share it, but don't fucking put it on people. Don't be like, this is how I feel. So you can't do that thing you want to do. As long as it's not hurting anyone, safe, saying consensual, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Not one fuck. Because we gotta realize, even like, because there are people out there living good lives that I would hate. I would hate that life. I would hate to, if that was my life, I'd be like, ew. Wouldn't want it. Wouldn't want any piece of it, but they're living their, they're living a good life. They're not hurting people. Some of them, there are people out there living good lives, hurting others. It happens. That's the thing though. So even (laughs) within my own thing, and it's also kind of nihilistic, I have a very positive nihilistic approach because I think nihilism is like nothing means anything. Everything is meaningless. And for me, I feel like other people will get bogged down. And lots of people do. They're like, nothing matters. This is all a cosmic joke. Everything's accidental. And for me, that's way more liberating than depressing. If everything is just fucking nothing. If it just happened. There's no purpose to life besides living. Live. Like, wow, I don't get why that bums anybody out. I've like, I was an extremely positive person when I was young. It was all hugs and love. Everything I did was super happy started getting sad people started being rude to me and mean because i was weird i was a little weirdo and that uh that crushed me my soul was crushed grew up just hating myself not knowing anything about nothing just disliking everything and eventually i rooted in that's like the reason this hurts me the reason that all these sucky things are horrible is because that i allow those things into my life to be sucky sucky shit goes all around us you don't you you just ignore it just ignore it don't like brush off necessary sucky stuff like uh you gotta work to get what you want work can suck but you gotta do it you know that do it but like like this person over there is being shitty you've known this person for a long time maybe they were cool one point but now they're shitty just drop them just no no one gives a (laughs) don't don't hold on to those things don't let negativity be anything other than what negativity is. Just like, don't, don't, don't get bogged down because it's a thing. Like, embrace it. Be like, yeah, I don't give a shit. Shitty shit, shitty, but not me. I'm great. I'm gonna go along being as best as I can be with all the shitty shit, the shit storm all around me. And I don't know. Yeah, I don't know when I became someone who kind of flourished in that. Because it's, it's a process, and it's also the part of me that wants to like things and to be liked by people has never gone away. It's a performance thing, so when I was single especially, go out, get drunk, but yeah, everyone's great. Pay attention to me. I love you. Ah. And it was, um, it, it, I, that part still exists, and I actually like that, and I like letting it go every once in a while. But even now, now that I'm with Max, and I've really got this structure of knowing someone who's got my back and loves me. But like, really, I've been in love before, but this is like, this is like a legit, because love can happen to anyone. Love, love everyone, like you question love. If it's a bad relationship, it's like, oh, it wasn't real love. That's not true. That's complete real love. Like love is just the chemicals in our brains, the attachment, everything. So a, a super unhealthy relationship is love. Just fucking shitty love. And like, that's the thing. Love is not precious as we make it like when love goes south you'd be like don't be like but it's love just be like well this love is it's like when you have like a shitty a shitty appliance that just sucks but you're used to it and you don't want to switch to a newer product so i'm going to keep it even though it sucks and it shocks you get rid of it it's useless to you useless (laughs) but yeah uh, true love at least the idea of what we like there's i don't believe in soulmates or anything like that But, like, the idea of true love to me is finding that attraction and that attachment and everything next to someone who aligns with you, who will be your best friend, hopefully, and who's got your fucking back, you know? Like, I got got mad at Max a bit ago, and I found out I got mad because she wasn't really sharing, because she wasn't sure what was going on, so I kind of pushed her buttons, 
and it did kind of make her cry, but not in like, fuck you, fuck you. It was just pushing it until we got to the center. Because she's holding it, and I'm like, no, I refuse. We're going to fucking, we're going to fucking talk about this. Girls, don't, don't hold that shit in. None of that. You want to understand. Don't talk to me about it. And same for guys. Guys and girls both do this. So both sides, don't do that. And then when, when your partner is upset, you fucking, you get in there. You fucking, you nest in. You go like, what's wrong? What's wrong? And if it's something that requires space, let that be known. Because that's a thing. But don't, that isn't going to be achieved by you being quiet and shitty. You tell them, you go like, I'm having a lot of emotions right now. And it's hard to be around you. I would like like two hours or something to myself or some shit. And be like, solid. I know. Solid. It's a thumbs up there. I don't know. I always think I don't have anything to talk about. Then I'm just such a ranty. Such a ranty little runt. Except I'm the second tallest member of DAG. Except for Megan. Tell us, Martin, what is tallness being tall? What is tall? <laughs> Poor Martin. All he did was be tall. But yeah, uh, I'm going to try and figure that out. But yeah, guys, social medias. Let's do streams and stuff. Let's do things. Let's get out there. Fucking. Oh, man. I don't know where that came from. I'm in a surprisingly better mood. I'm a little, I'm a little amped up because of like the two auditions and everything. I think, I think it's like, ah, oh, I'm doing stuff. I'm fine. I'm, I'm fucking doing stuff. But yeah. Bye, everyone.